Good evening, folks. What's going on there on this beautiful Sunday evening? End of the weekend. Tomorrow is Monday. It's probably not such a happy day for some folks out there. I get it. It is 7 11 2021. It's a date, 8 35 p.m. West Coast time in California. A 3.0 earthquake as the latest quake on the earthquake 3D, 3D globe into the uh, Southern California region. Earthquake activity around the globe, far as the uh, map goes on the flat scale model. 3.0 down there around Smith Valley. That's going to be the, uh, well, that's uh, maybe not Southern California. Okay, Central California. Either way, within the vicinity of all the earthquake activity on the eastern edge, eastern crest into Walker Lane region, uh, where we've seen that uh, pretty good size six pointer occur a few days ago. This here is the all magnitudes showing the continued earthquake activity into the region there around the Antelope Valley area. Of course, not a whole lot of movement uh, when it comes to larger magnitudes, only 18 with the magnitude of 2.5 and above. And I think the uh, largest one in that was a 3.2 uh, within that region there. Variable depths with these earthquakes here, which is kind of interesting. You can see uh, the depth uh, below the surface ranging from 6.2 uh, all the way up to two, one. A lot of uh, interesting movement taking place down there. Of course, in any type of fault rupture, uh, we, it's expected to see uh, some unusual movement. Uh, what else we got? Southern California looking pretty quiet for uh, the most part. See down around the Ridgecrest area, San Jacinto fault area looking pretty quiet. Only microquake activity. If you want to look at 2.5 and above, there's not a whole lot down there. The only area is in the uh, Antelope Valley regions. Quiet around the uh, geyser activity as well. Only microquakes taking place there. A little microquake out here along the, uh, well, that's not really a microquake. It's a 4.0. Not for sure why that uh, disappears. Oh, well, no, it doesn't disappear. It stays uh, 4.0 out there off the coast of Eureka at a depth of about 4.6 kilometers. That's about the only seismic activity uh, to really speak of when it comes to terms of magnitude. Not, not a whole lot of movement in the Pacific Northwest. A couple small, very small microquakes around Mount Rainier once again and down around Mount St. Helens. We'll check out the uh, seismic graphs in a little bit, but man, I tell you what, pretty quiet when it comes to looking at the West Coast. Intermountain West regions pretty quiet as well. Central start, uh, Central states Look at uh, Southern Plains down here in Texas. No quakes, right? Out there in earthquake country, Texas, Pecos, Texas area, no quakes. If you look at the last seven days, you can see a little bit different, different story in this region. And if you look at the past few months, even a broader view of the multitude of quakes. But today, nothing, absolutely nothing, which is kind of astonishing. Uh, because if you look at the general plate tectonics out here, it's very quiet globally we did see a little bit of movement into the south america region uh into the uh andes area peru 5.0 uh pretty deep 128 kilometers also this uh, uh peru chile or peru earthquake at a 4.3 inland once again 140 153 kilometers a little bit more shallower quake at 57 kilometers there in chile around the peru chile trench uh, major subduction zone when it comes to producing mega quakes out there. But other than that, man, I tell you what, pretty quiet. What is going on? Seismic activity dwindling down. Does it have anything to do with solar weather? Eh, possibly. But I can't really stamp that at 100%. And I'm not going to stamp it 100% because uh, uh, we've seen some seismic activity in the past when we've had very boring solar weather and vice versa so there's no uh, hundred percent guarantee in that although i do think there's a slim a relation just not for not for certain how how uh how much it goes there with the uh, relationship between the two 
Uh, Yellowstone National Park, let's go ahead and check that out. I don't see a whole lot of movement on the USGS scale. Looks like maybe, maybe a couple of small quakes around the region, a couple of small microquakes in Yellowstone National Park. But other than that, not a whole lot to speak of in terms of earthquake activity and only, only 15 epicenters around the Cascadia subduction zone into the uh, that area of Oregon that's seen quite a bit of movement uh, down dip downstream uh, within the past few months. But now just uh, just a few few epicenters of trimmer along that Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, what do we got as far as solar weather goes? Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. We haven't seen too much in the way of solar uh, uptick and activity. In fact, everything looks pretty dead when it comes to the uh, KP indexes. Um, not a whole lot. Man, not a whole lot at all. I'm hoping for a little change. There is a coronal hole, a uh, pretty significant size, kind of facing us, south tilt, a couple small um, sunspots around the region, but nothing of significance. In fact, uh, we're not looking at any major uh, geomagnetic storming at all. Looks like maybe 40%, 50% chance over the next few days in the higher latitudes of seeing a, a geomagnetic storm, but uh, pretty, pretty dull if you're looking at if you're looking at the big picture. So hopefully things pick up. Um, you can see a little bit more of the uh, dynamics of the sunspots here and the polar uh, areas. Looks pretty, uh, man. It does not look good at all when it comes to producing solar flares. I, I love to see solar flares. Um, and I can't wait for them to come back to Earth and uh, really get things uh, ramping up out here. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Stream is up and running. It's looking pretty good. I, uh, I'm going to pay close attention to this upload. I know last night when I uploaded, uh, uploaded this video, uh, the stream automatically went down. But I've done a couple adjustments. I've done a couple changes, adjusted a couple servers, and went with the flow from there. Everything looks pretty solid. Of course, last time I said this, good lord, and I even knocked—I even knocked on wood, and well, bam! As soon as I uploaded the video, the stream went down. Anyway, we'll roll with the punches. I'm not one to give up. Um. Yeah, so have a good weekend, folks. We'll chat you tomorrow. Uh, end of the weekend, I should say. Have a good Monday. We will talk at you guys tomorrow sometime. Peace out. Stay safe out there.